Hi guys, this video is about the optimal longitudinal forces distribution and the CGA, part 7. Uh, main title uh, is the uh, minimum time for uh, 0 to 100 km per hour. In this video, I will explain how to simply calculate the required minimum time uh, for 0 to 100 km per hour if the engine power is big enough to accelerate the vehicle weight. The contents will be, as always we have a quiz, and the maximum acceleration for 0 to 100 km per hour uh, in the case of a rear wheel drive vehicle, a front wheel drive vehicle, or wheel drive vehicle. And then we, I will uh, show you the answer to the quiz and then the conclusion. Uh, here we have a quiz. For you, uh, which of the followings is true uh, for the required minimum time for uh, 0 to 100 km per hour? Uh, there are two conditions here. Uh, all the cars have a different weight uh, but the same wheelbase and the CG location. Uh, all the cars have enough power considering their weight. Uh, we have to choose uh, the right one among three choices. Have you hit the answer already? Let's begin with the rear wheel drive. First, in the part 6 video, we derive the equation AA. Arranging AA for A sub RWD, uh, we can obtain this equation. Employing the differential relationship, uh, we can get the equation A11. And employing the uh, unit conversion, 100 km per hour is equal to uh, 27.8 meter per second. Uh, taking an integral of uh, the equation A11 uh, from 0 to 100 km per hour, uh, we can obtain the equation A12. The resultant value of the equation A13 is uh, 27.8 meter per second. Uh, putting the vehicle data in the red box into the equation, we have the equation A14. From A13 and A14, uh, we can calculate the velocity equation like this. And we finally end up with the uh, 5.99 second as the minimum time uh, per the acceleration of uh, 0 to 100 km per hour in the case of rear wheel drive. From now on, let's calculate the uh, minimum time uh, in the case of a uh, front wheel drive vehicle. In the part, part 6, we derive the equation A10, arranging A10 for A sub FWD we can get the expression here. Employing the differential uh, relationship, uh, we can get the equation F11. And employing the unit conversion, 100 km per hour is equal to 27.8 meter per second. Uh, taking an integral of equation F11 uh, from 0 to 100 km per hour, uh, we can we can obtain the equation F12. The resultant value of the equation F13 is uh, 27.8 meter per second. Uh, putting the vehicle data in the red box into the equation here, uh, we can obtain the equation F14. From F13 and F14, uh, we have the velocity equation here. And we finally end up with the value of 5.46 second as the minimum time for the acceleration uh, of uh, 0 to 100 km per hour in the case of a uh, front wheel drive. A minimum time in the case of all wheel drive uh, can be easily calculated. Uh, in the part 2 video, we have the equation A4, and we have a differential uh, expression, equation A11. 
15. Employing the unit conversion, 100 km per hour is equal to uh, 27.8 meter per second. Uh, taking the integral of equation A15 uh, from 0 to 100 km per hour, uh, we have the expression of the equation H12. Then we end up with the uh, simple equation. And we can get the uh, minimum time per 0 to 100 km per hour in the case of all wheel drive is 2.86 seconds. I'm expecting everyone hit the answer. The answer is number one. Here we have some conclusion. If the vehicle have enough power compared with its weight, a minimum acceleration uh, to the desired velocity is only determined by its wheelbase and CG location. If the vehicle are the same wheelbase and the CG locations with sufficient engine power, minimum time for acceleration to desired uh, velocity, uh, velocity are as follows, depending on its drive type uh, regardless of their weight. The minimum time of all-wheel drive is always the shortest than the others. If you watch the uh, previous video, you can easily understand this video. You can find the explanation on the variation of optimal longitudinal forces distribution for different CGs. I explain the optimal longitudinal front-rear acceleration and the braking force distribution together with the constant friction lines. Recently, I explained how to obtain the maximum acceleration value using the CG location data. The topic of our next video will be friction coefficient. See you in next video. Goodbye, guys.